Hey everybody, back with a new episode of The Boys. Last episode was really good. Uh, unfortunately, we found out who Stormfront really is. She's a fucking racist sadist. So, Homelander has competition for who's the worst person in The Seven. We did not need another one of him. Uh, but their, um, their relationship is going to be pretty interesting going forward. But with... With Stormfront, Stormfront killing Kimiko's brother, what bargaining chip does uh, Butcher have? Does he get credit for taking him out because that was the deal he made to get his wife back? So I don't, I don't know now. But I feel so terrible for Kamiko. I, oof, I wonder how she's going to be. Is she going to be just like, I got to go kill Stormfront? Which, you know, I hope she gets some kind of justice in some kind of way. But, ugh, I feel so terrible. Huey and Butcher, I think, have maybe squashed their beef. For now, at least, uh, I thought the driving force of this season was going to be kind of their battle for who gets to be in charge. I, I I don't know. And then now with Compound V being out in the open, what is their next play? Um, they still have, you know, they're still a group united against these soups. So what do they do now? The, the Deep still super committed to this damn cult and i guess he is still part of the seven he's just been benched for so long because stormfront took translucent's place so maybe he's back in their good graces because he helped out i don't know but uh yeah i'm excited to see where the season goes from here because last episode was a big episode so things are gonna change i imagine but I'm very excited to get back into it, so let's do it. Yeah, communication. <laughs> Details are still emerging about the soup terrorists whose senseless attack on an apartment building left 59. Yeah, that would be Stormfront. Over a hundred injured. <gasps> that was not the move. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I was just. Maybe you should do that when you're not high. To the brave actions taken by Stormfront. And she's not Earlier grieving. Today, Stormfront made an appearance at a New York City park. I was beginning to worry. What kind of fantasy is this? Ugh. I thought we were done with this. <laughs> Liberty, you mentioned her before. Second tier soup, active in the 70s. She was all over Susan's private server. I found Becca. <gasps> You came through. Almost our best guess where she is. Mock facility, armed to the teeth. Won't be easy. We had a deal. I didn't come through. Jesus, Butcher, I'm just giving it to you. Respect. What kind of fantasy is this? Are you dreaming? Well, now that that media whore is, is the face of the seven? Mm. Uh, uh. Change back. Change back. <gasps> I'm sorry. You. Maybe you should have actually admitted to yourself that you did care for her and not burn her eyes out. And there's nothing that you cannot do. How is it possible that you're dumber than you look? <laughs> Mate, it's Becca. Oh, shit. Win or lose? Yeah, you're irrational you about it. No more lies. <gasps> uh-uh. Come on, Annie. You go ahead and scream. I'll kiss you. Oh, absolutely not. Am I lying? Oh, Annie, she's so impressive. Oh. I mean, there were some half truths in there, but she stood up for herself, and it worked. Can we learn more about Black Noir? Black <laughs> Noir. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, do you mean William Butcher? We risked our lives just. To make the world way worse. Yeah, but no, no, no. The That's world deserves to know. Are you just gonna hang out here? Yeah, I, I just, I can't go back to the tower right now. Go with him. Even her standing here is dangerous. Maybe Don't like neither. 
it's a bad idea. Who is that? Is that the guy you beat? Hey, train, you're out. Uh-uh. Out of what? Out of seven. Are you kidding? That sign and the can Supreme Court can go music? fuck themselves. Come on in, man. Join in. Oh, come on. Have a little Vegas road trip, okay? Why not? Have some fun. Just chill. Frenchie, what's up with you? Be there for Kamiko. Tried to kiss her. Oh, he's heartbroken. Her brother died. Wanted to make her feel better. Oh, you thought a kiss her. would make her feel better or you feel better? Yeah. She was in pain. I wanted to help. Baskin Robbins. Oh. Every Sunday. You're bonding. Church. My pops, he'd always ask for samples. To fathers and sugar. To fathers and sugar. Oh my God, I love you too so much. You're just smearing shit all over your skin. Is he a germaphobe? Got to use well wipes. <laughs> you just carry these around with you? Oh! Whoa! They came out of nowhere! Call an ambulance. You don't have healing powers. This was like, calm down, calm down. I've had a million bloody cameras. You are gonna get to talk. She's not gonna leave without Ryan, though. Aww. I said if he hurt you. I would kill myself in front of Ryan. Oh, damn. And my last words would be your father did this to me. I wasn't lying. In front of Ryan? Get the fuck out of here. Hint, hint. Hey, what's up with MM's OCD? Hey, what, what OCD? Is that what it is? You know, when he changes lanes, he taps the steering wheel three times. Oh. Honestly, I can't wish she's forgiven you this easily, but. All right. I still want to see you. She's in love. Love is a leap of faith. <laughs> like my last boyfriend was obsessed with Ed Sheeran. <gasps> Girl. Two weeks later, he broke up with me. Why? Did I you fucking hate do Ed that? Sheeran. What is, why do they keep cutting to that? Is this something with that fucking cult? This is a lovers episode. The beard's new. Fancy it, right? Yeah. Uh, haven't decided yet. Girl, what are you looking at? Let's talk hashtag heroes so white. Ninety-two <laughs> percent of heroes are Caucasian, African American, that caught me off guard. Latin and Asian. Hashtag each Oscar 1%. so white. We have a gay hero. Really? Who in the seven is gay? Queen Maeve. Oh, you just outed her? Mm -hmm. Scoop for you, Maria. Oh, is it so hard to believe that I want you two to be happy? Yeah. He's going to do something because he's an asshole. And have you seen bots saving America ads? Well, maybe You're going up against we bot right now? So calm or safe. You're putting a target on your back. Terrorist has <gasps> Kamiko! Oh, fuck. You go, please. If you will not survive. Yeah, she's not. She's not clear headed right now. He's right. See, Vark wasn't about to let this one black man put his foot on their necks. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear those keys anymore. Oh, man. Well, that. found him hunched over that typewriter dead at 55. Totally explains your so motivation. For your loss. I'm for your sympathy. I am going to tell you that his fight got passed down to me. Yeah. I don't know nothing about any Oh my god, Just no. Confess. I am a hero for killing a black piece of shit like you. What the fuck? Who is this? <gasps> oh my god. I wanted to go to the police. She's going to kill me. I'm sorry. She's still out there? Right there. That's Liberty. <gasps> She's been around that long. Sounds like he was a real hero. Yeah. I thought so. Nah, he's just a man with a disease. 
pass it down to me and if I'm not too careful, I might end up passing it down to them. It's so complicated when you have kids. Those are like old looking memes. <laughs> That's one of my favorite memes. <laughs> wow, I really didn't think you could have anybody come close to Ooh, his level of shittiness. Think you are. And here we are. What, you think I don't see it? You can't win the whole country anymore. No one can. You don't need 50 She's million people to, to love and you. Conquer. You need 5 million people fucking pissed. Emotion so sells, Trumpian. anger sells. You just need a little help connecting with your audience. God, don't team up. You know, change with the times. I'm, I'm not leaving. What are you talking about? Of course you are. Grab the kid and let's go. You don't really want Ryan to come with us. Of course I do. I said I'd take him to them. I know you better than anybody and I saw it in your face last night. Oh. I see it now. He can't get over it. Becky, you and me, we She's not gonna leave him. Like, not. It's Ryan they care about, not us. Yeah, then what? You were always one one bad day away from hounding someone to death in a parking lot. That's not true. Before, before yeah. she was gone, you were like that. He raped me, and when I found out I was pregnant, I went to Vaughn. Oh shit! Shit! <laughs> Black Noir. We can't afford to feel good or to feel safe or to let our guard down. You could leave the seven. We're all alone. Annie. That's the truth. Damn, I believe this, this is a bummer for everyone. A great relationship is to be willing to do anything for your man. Uh, anything. I'm a feminist. Oh, but I'm a... also very sexual. What are you doing? I mean, she's the one, no question. No, she isn't. Wait, what? What are you looking she for? She was like, hands down on the winner. It was not even a contest. The one with the hair and the creepy skeletons hugging each other's story? Yes, <laughs> that's your wife. Oh, You're interviewing but... wives? But I thought I got to choose. It's about rehabilitating your image and getting you back in the seven. Oh, that that's what you want, about. isn't it? But y'all fucking stop. Oh, I want you so bad. I don't need anyone. But myself. Are you telling yourself that? Oh my god, you want to fuck yourself? Of course you do. I'm gonna suck your cock so fucking hard. You hate, you hate yourself? Is that what we're learning? Damn, I really thought he was gonna go for that. I don't need you. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, this was an interesting episode. Uh, a lot of relationship stuff, which I'm into, obviously. Uh, but not too much happiness, I would say. Um, but your and Becca got to have a little reunion and for a second there there was the idea that they could make this work but Becca definitely read that situation correctly he's never going to be okay with Ryan being in the picture which is I guess understandable but he has to understand that she's his mother and she has been his mother all this time and that kind of bond is just a whole other thing and of course she chose to stay with him and keep him safe. So what is Butcher's motivations now? Because all he has cared about is getting Becca back. And that's not in the cards at all ever maybe now. So what does he want? And what is his trauma? Like why is he so... I really thought that... You know, who we saw him before in the flashbacks, he seems like a normal guy. But apparently this persona he has had since she's been gone is not new or even a persona. He just is really angry and would kind of pop off at any moment, it seems. 
So, yeah, what what is what has he been through? I'm very curious to know that now. And uh, is he going to still be interested in going after Vought? I mean, I still feel like he wants to go after Homelander, even though he's not with Becca. I think he's still going to want that. But what is motivating him now? Uh, with with Huey and Annie, there's is they're sweet, and obviously they care a lot about each other. Um, but if, if she is staying in the seven, she's not wrong that them caring about each other is going to make it difficult if more things come out about them because Homelander, for the most part, she kind of convinced him that she doesn't care about Huey, but if he finds out that she actually does, she's kind of like Maeve in that, in this regard. Um, she knows what he's capable of. So they're gonna cool it for now, but I could also see them kind of hooking up just every once in a while. Um, I really loved their road trip with, with MM and we learned a lot about him too and, and his relationship with his dad and while he has great memories of his dad and his dad seems to be a really good guy, his, um, his drive, his fight to take down these, this corruption is, uh, been passed down to him. This reminds me so much of the Winchesters and Supernatural, uh, cause he in turn has taken that up and he is without his child so he is leaving his child alone in the same way his dad did and he called it a, a disease uh, and, and it's not from a place of vengeance it's it's from uh, uh, an intense uh need for justice which is very understandable but when you have kids man it's a whole different thing it's really important that you're there to be with them. So I see his conflict, uh, but I, I'm so glad that he got to bond with Annie in that scene. That was great. And just the road trip in general, I really enjoyed. Um, and the Liberty story, Jesus Christ. I can't believe she's been around this long and has changed up her methods but uh she has been the worst for a very long time even longer than homelander i can't believe she doesn't age apparently wow no wonder Vought brought her in she's the worst like kamiko's brother was just the tip of the iceberg garbage she fucking sucks i hate her so much but sh the tactics that she's employing <sighs> If y'all don't see the real world parallels, y'all aren't paying attention. <laughs> I hope she hasn't like lit a fire under Homelander though. But you know, him still holding on to uh, Stillwell makes sense that he was using a doppelganger. But even that, he couldn't fully have the full fantasy. And... Uh, didn't even want to fuck himself, which I was actually surprised about. He uh, he has a, a, a rage inside of him, and it, it seems like it, it stems from a self-hatred because of his childhood. But uh, I wonder what his... Uh, I wonder what his story is going to be like going forward. Is he going to keep isolating himself? He already has Maeve under his thumb. I cannot believe he outed her like that. And she is going to be worried about Elena now. I wonder if they're going to embrace their outwardness now that it's out there. Maybe that could be a way to keep her safe if everyone knows about them. And like they're just, you know, kind of like showing their relationship in a way that people really like them. And that might deter Homelander from 
hurting her potentially. I don't know. But yeah, I cannot believe that happened. Woof. And Frenchie and Kamiko. He definitely didn't play it right. Being high and, you know, trying to kiss her. That was just not the move. Not the right time, moment, or situation. Um, he so cares about her, they, though. And he was right to stop her from going after Stormfront in that moment. Like, she was, like, visibly off. And uh, that would have been bad for her. And I believe he was right about that. So, hopefully, he or she forgives him for making a move at an inappropriate time. But, you know, Frenchie's got some, like, there's a reason why he was doing that. I, I, he he feels bad of what he's inadvertently caused. Like, the whole Mallory thing, from what we know, was on him a little bit. So, everybody in this damn show was going through something. Which, you know, having compelling characters is the mark of a great show. And I, I, I really like this. These episodes are too long. But, uh... I, I I did like this episode a lot, just uh, really deep diving in a lot of these people's relationships was interesting. And we learned a lot about a lot of different characters, which I really liked. So things are kind of not great for a lot of them. I, I, I don't know what... I know where all the characters are at for the most part. I don't know where the plot is at. I don't know what we're doing next. So that'll be interesting to know. The the deep stuff, like him trying to rehabilitate his image or the church trying to do that for him. Yeah, that makes sense. That sounds right. And of course, there we go with someone that he didn't want because, you know, we know why he liked her. Jeez. Uh, what a mess. But I like that all of these characters have layers and uh, I like, I mean, save a couple. I like most everyone. So it's, it's, it's fun to see, to learn more and more as we go along. Just, just, you know, being halfway through the second season. It, uh, and the, the, the MM stuff with uh, his, obsessive compulsive behavior i'm not gonna say he has ocd but that was a, a, a new reveal too something i didn't see um but annie did and uh i love more, learning more about him I mean, mm is definitely one of my faves and everyone I, I i care about a lot of these characters black noir is just so mysterious i don't know what's driving him at all but he was looking for Butcher, so I don't know where that's going either. But uh, yeah, this was this was really good. I really enjoyed this. I love a character study, and this looked at a lot of our characters here and their relationships with each other, which I am so here for. So yeah, good episode. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon.